Hey guys, I am also a victim of the Inspire infamous prop rattle and I want to share with you my solution. First, I want to show on paper what I think the problem is. Since DJI has not officially admitted to the issue, we can only speculate. Let's say the red represents the prop, the white is the locking arms, and the brown is the locking plate and motor, but since they're both screwed together, we'll treat them as one. The problem is a tolerance issue between the prop and the locking plate. When the motor spins, it causes the prop to rattle. My solution is to add more material between the prop and locking plate. Here I'll demonstrate why I don't think DJI's foam solution solves the problem. Let's say this represents the prop. What we want is to have the prop sit flat and firmly against the plate. My fingers represent the locking arms that hold everything tightly. But because of the tolerance issue, we get the rattling of the prop. DJI solves this by placing a piece of foam under the prop, so we think the problem is gone. But it's only really masking the sound, the problem is still there. See, as you're doing corners or, or flying heavy maneuvers, you'll get the props wobbling. So what we want to do is use super glue to apply a generous layer on the bottom of the prop. Super glue is basically a plastic, it dries and becomes a really hard plastic. So don't worry if you put too much. Besides, you can always file it down. Okay, go ahead and uh, even it out. Now I'll leave it on the level surface and let it dry. Should take a few minutes. All right, what we'll do next is file the glue down a little bit. I find using the nail file to work best since it's a pretty fine texture. Remember to take off very thin layers. You can stop at any time to test out the prop on the Inspire. Here's the finished product. All right, thank you for watching. Let me know if this solution works for you or ask me a question in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Adios.